What is up guys, Tony Torkoal here again with another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer. Today we're going to be getting some awesome new encounters, hopefully maybe even getting the chance to use our Master Ball which we just acquired through Rock Tunnel. If you ever want to know how to get through Rock Tunnel without uh, using Flash, just go check out the previous episode. I'm a Pokemon Master, no, not really, but... Yeah, we went through that entire route without uh, losing anyone or um, getting too lost. So, we're going to go find some more encounters this episode and hopefully have a grand old time with our encounters and build more of a team. Manetric, we already have a pretty stacked team so far. Um, hopefully you guys have been following along. So we're just trying to get through this and hopefully not lose too much. Manetric goes down. I want to get everybody to like level 30 hopefully by the end of this. And our first encounter of this episode. Oh, there's so many items around here. We'll get the items. Let's see if we can get the items with that white herb. Okay, well, our encounter for this route Remoraid, which does evolve in Octillery, which is kind of cool because I really do love Octillery. Um, yeah, we're going to catch him, but I don't think he's ever going to be used on the team, and I'm not going to die to him, so we're just going to send Skittles in and put him to sleep, and that should be a pretty easy capture, I'd say. I'm going to name him uh, Doc Ock because if he does get like get used, Doc Ock is such a sick name. Doc. And then we'll call it Ock. Or maybe Doc Ock though. From um, Spider-Man. Cool. Oop. Okay. And uh, we're going to try to... There is a free level 25 up in Cerulean City. So I'm mostly going to try to get through that really quick. Also, we can also evolve our Growlithe finally into an Arcanine. Like, there's so much we could do today. This route right here is a new encounter. So... Yo, Vigoroth is OP. Slacking. It's insane. Like the the power. Oh my god, please. Yes. So, Slacking. Um, I don't know what to name him really. Um, shoot. Monkey Pokemon. Uh. Alright, well, that was a bananas encounter, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, we're going to go get this guy, really, a guy or girl, whatever, really quick. Grab this as a magnet, because you could do two things in this building, and on the front side you get the T, on this side you, what am I doing? Whoop, whoop, whoa, don't you speed up on stairs, it's scary. You go up to this building up in the sky. And you can, oh, uh, Butterfree? Well, <sighs> I always usually call my Butterfree's Bugsy. But the first time I was like, I did my Bugsy, like, was probably, I think, level 38 and died. So I'm really not excited to use a Butterfree because of that. It just has a bad taste in my mouth. I love Butterfree, but it died. So, I don't think we'll be using that Butterfree, but we will check it out, nonetheless. Alright, so our current encounters that we just caught are right here. Let's start with the Monkey King. Blaze doesn't really help us. Uh, Bugsy wakes up from sleep. Nothing really to say there. 
Doc Ock has limber. So now there is a couple more things I want to do. I just want to go up here real quick. Hopefully this one, no. Ooh, actually we do have some interesting TNs probably here. Crunch is, I'm going to buy that actually. Are all these random? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, go up another floor. I think that um, one of these guys has the Firestone. There we go. Awesome. Now we can finally evolve our uh, Growlithe. Ruby! Is now evolving. No, 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 no. Oh no, they evolved into random Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Worn out places. Oh my god. No. How to. Ruby! You went and turned into a cow! You were a dog! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Ruby, you were a cow all along, and now. <laughs> Ruby has. Stench! It evolved and now it has a stench, an odor to it that repels wild Pokemon. Oh no! Arcanine would have been so much better. Uh, we have a blaze kicking uh, mill tank now. Wow. I did not realize what I have done. I don't want to waste all my money on these. These are really cool. Uh, I think the soda pops are actually really good. So I'm just going to kind of buy a bunch of each. Oh, that is sad. Okay, now we really need a fire type on our team because we have no, uh, no fire type at all anymore. So hopefully this encounter over here. And it's a water type. You know what it sucks about this? This guy evolves from a water stone, and I don't even know what he would turn into. You know, actually, that's kind of interesting. Let's let's go transform this. Oh, do you want to just come with me, dude? Do you want to just come with so I don't have to hit you? I won't even punch you, dude. Won't even punch you once. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna name him Whack because he's not gonna evolve into something normal. So it's gonna be Whack. And hopefully it evolves into a fire type. That is rough. Let's see what it has. Uh, Jolly Nature, really good. Uh, decent moves for a Poliwhirl. So hopefully we do get a fire type because then it has water moves. I should have bought a water stone while I was in there. Whoop, 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 wrong floor. Alright, give me one. You don't have enough money. Dude, do I look like a poor? Okay, uh, yeah, I did just buy a lot of junk I didn't need, huh? There we go. We got a big mushroom. We can afford things. Come on, let me buy it now. There we go. Um, <sighs> please don't be wag, dude. Yes? It was used on Whack. Whack is now evolving. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. Wait, so I'm confused. Does that mean when um it says Bulbasaur evolves into Venusaur? That means it evolves again. Oh, it has pickup.
I think I have a rare candy. Um. No, I don't. That's so weird, honestly. I'm gonna test that. I'm gonna give him the lucky egg. And we'll go test Whack out. We're gonna see, cause I'm, but honestly, cause he's already parents level 16, so he definitely has to evolve. Holy shit. That would have been cool, an earthquake and fanfy. I would have taken that. Polly Rath, hey, look, it's what you could have evolved into. God damn it. Dang, dude. Come on, whack. You even gonna level up for me, bro? I would have been okay with a Polly Rath. That would have been really good typing. One more battle should do the trick. Let's see if... Oh my god, dude. Whack evolves again. <sighs> no way. <laughs> oh no. Now it's a Kalava. What is this? <laughs> A water type fire Pokemon. What? Um, none of today makes sense, and I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, uh, I kind of want to see how um <laughs> what it'll turn into again. You know. Um, God, our encounters were. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Such a weird uh, chain of events there. Dude, not even an. I don't think there's any fish here. Okay. Well, I think the best way to try to get Quilava to level up and evolve is just go here. This is both a blessing and a curse. Because. Yeah, we're a fire type, but we're also really weak to what we're going up against. Okay, uh, that has pursuit, but will it? Whack got whacked by the hail. Okay. Water spout. Not bad. Come on. <sighs> yep. Fuck. Ugh, I knew that was going to happen. Why didn't I switch? Well, I guess we're never going to find out what Whack evolves into. Dragon Rage? That would have been sick. But... Oh, so wax gone. That's so weird. That was so. And of course, our Ruby had to evolve into a freaking milk tank. Like, what are you gonna do about that? You know, like, what do you do? We had the Koalava, but all had his water type moves. Like, this is horrible. Like, if it would have been a water type starter, it would have been fine. But it evolved into something that it was going to evolve again, and so all these guys kind of do that. I... If they're all going to evolve randomly, that means we don't like this right here needs to be the, the go-to. I guess I don't know. So we don't really have anything new yet that we could really use. Um, I still do want to take on this gym. I know this gym's kind of... We should be able to take on this gym, no problem. 
We'll finish the gym up today. This crazy episode. Oh, no. Don't bulk up on me. Come on. Louise. Nice. I know you have guillotine. There we go. Come on. Slice the crowd on in half. There we go. It's a viper. Okay. We'll just take care of these trainers here and beat the gym, and that'll be it for today. Oh, if you guys are liking this, uh, be sure to leave a like down below so I know. And comment down below what you thought of uh, Ruby evolving into this dang mill tank, man. Heracross. We don't really need a... That was close. But no bravato. Now we can take on the gym. I'm going to put some cool theme music on. And yeah. That way we can have something cool to murder this lady too. Track that I have. Ding. Ding. Lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I'm the student in art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are solely of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry, I had no idea you wanted to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Okay, I mean, I just kind of came up in your gym and uh, murdered everybody else's Pokemon. I just kind of figured it was your turn. Oh, boy, we are way under level for this. Um, I think I want to try to set up on this. Yep. And then, well, he did just smoke screen me. So, I'm probably not going to land any of this. Oh. ho -o? Yo, oh, calm down, ho, oh. There's no. Okay, he's doing what? <laughs> he's dying. My cargo. I don't think he's living a side beam. Wow. And another gym in the bag, guys. Awesome. I can't believe it. All these gyms have been going really well. Our team's just doing really awesome. Giga Drain, woo! Let's see what Giga Drain actually was. Looks like, oh, we got Fissure. Uh, I think it was Calm Mine. Yeah, it was Calm Mine. Well, guys, that'll do it for today's episode. If you liked, be sure to let me know and like this video. Comment down below and uh, be sure to subscribe. Click the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter. I uh, try to stream as much as I can, but working a full-time job, I don't really have a set schedule, so that's kind of my bad. Uh, the schedule for this is still hopefully Monday, Friday, and it's going well. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.